I'm Mr. Sharma. I'm a consultant orthopedic surgeon. I do upper limb. I do shoulders, elbows, wrist and hand. I came to One Hatfield Hospital as a consultant orthopedic surgeon looking for a new and a fresh place because uh, to have a brand new spanking hospital with all the state-of-art equipment and ITU, terrific instrumentation, new staff and very keen uh, theatre staff as well. So the management's very good. So I was felt very welcome and it made me want to come here. So when I came here, I did find that everything was as true as they said. Uh, yeah, everything was very nice. My patients were very happy. They'd walk in, they'd have this wow factor of a nice, lovely reception. Everybody is keen to impress them. They get their free coffees and teas and they, they felt very welcome. If I had to do anything complex or arrange something, the office staff upstairs were right on the ball and you know everything would be done. As a consultant, you want every patient to have a very smooth journey and ultimately the outcome is important. For me, that was quite important and uh, we started doing something which was not done before, like almost like a one-stop shop. So a patient would come in for a consultation, would have his x-ray. And because the MRI was so efficient, is that they, by the time they have a cup of coffee, they'll have the MRI. And before they go and I've seen the MRI, I've seen the x-ray and I've had a plan in place. Sometimes we can even get the pre-admission checkup then. So for a surgeon, that's ideal. So most of the management investigation on tap and that saved the person's time. It makes me more efficient and it, it makes them feel more valued. And they feel that, yes, they've come to a private hospital and they get a very good treatment. The nursing care in this hospital is, is quite unique and it's quite exemplary. I think one of the very unique features is that you get to know the nurses personally very well. They're very much on the ball. They're very communicative with me and the patients. And we, I've noticed in a lot of my complex cases that every problem is preempted, even uh, before the problems go out of hand. And a very silly, simple thing, if it's taken care of right at the beginning, doesn't escalate and the patient gets well managed at the end of it. They've all been very complimentary. Whenever the patients get discharged and they come back and see me as a follow-up in the clinic, they have only good things to say about that and that makes me feel really good about it. My colleagues uh, who are in this hospital are from all around North London, which is quite unique. We're not only restricted to a very local patch of like consultants in one particular trust, so people have been looking at this place and they say, fine, this is a nice place to work. They're coming from quite a far away distance as well. Not that far that they can't provide good care, but they've been coming in and doing work. And we've, it's been very refreshing knowing, meeting a lot of clinicians from a lot of places. We have regular meetings. Uh, we have MDTs uh, going on. So we get to know each other's skills. The cross referral base has become very good because if I know that there's another specialist who's doing something that I'm not and I need that help, that becomes really beneficial for us. So I'm very happy with the kind of consultants. Because they're all young, they're very innovative, they're very active with all the modern techniques. So it does complement the hospital and vice versa. This hospital is well known for its clinical safety. We've not had a single adverse incident. Uh, there's no infection. So it's, it's got a really positive clinical yet comfortable feel to it and people like it it's quite modern the architecture is wonderful you've got this little cafe in front which also people love to just sit around and chat so patients don't really feel they're sitting and waiting in a hospital seems like half restaurant half cafe and they have little areas where they can sit and chat and it feels very casual and comfortable so from cleanliness point of view etc i've never had any incident at all mrsa is not known so far which is good uh, but uh, these are early stages when we hope we, it shouldn't happen because we have a very good record so far. The physio department for me is quite critical as an orthopedic surgeon doing upper limb and sports injuries. Most of my patients when they have physio here, they, have, they work very closely with me. And there used to be a, a thought that, oh my God, we've had an operation, it's going to take me several weeks to get better and return to work, I'll take time off work. But that has changed. People go back within the week. They start driving within a week or so. And that does not affect the productivity. And nowadays, uh, you know, you cannot afford to take time off work if you're self-employed, etc. And that is a big bonus for people. And they feel more willing to go and have a procedure and that's bothering them and get that sorted out because it's not going to stop the earning. 
And, and physio comes in a big way in that, and they are aware about it. They will see the patient even before the operation, make the expectations real. And once the expectations are met, a patient is happy and I'm happy. Our imaging department is yet another favorite of mine because uh, we got the latest scanner, MRI scanner, and that gives really good images. It's now running to virtually full capacity. By and large, I get my patients within the same day, if not the next day, and that is quite unique. And, and we got enough staff to look after that. X-rays happen instantly. So by the time the patient's seen me, goes out, has a cup of tea, has had an X-ray and comes and takes a seat, I see them again. Plus, the X-ray is just across the the clinics so very together, all the clinical and support service are very together and that's very useful for me. The new thing that this hospital has done is uh, sort of involved, got involved with the Royal College of General Practitioners and the hospital sponsoring GP programs, not only through the Royal College but also individually. So the GPs get a lot of chance to come in and learn and speak to the consultant directly. That's a mutual benefit. They know what we're doing. It just becomes a very good symbiotic relationship that has encouraged a lot of GPs to come and work here as well and provide general, private general practice services, which is sometimes quite unique. We've got a big university around the corner and a lot of people want immediate access and there you go, you have that benefit. So this education has really helped the primary care and us as well to know each other and understand what one, one and the other needs. A lot of people ask as to how can we get ourselves referred to the hospital because they have a problem and they want to see. There are two kinds of ways one comes in. If you're self-funding, you don't need a referral from your general practitioner. You could always call up the reception or go to the website and send an inquiry. It's as straightforward as that. However, if you're insured, some of the insurance companies would prefer to get a referral from the general practitioner. But by and large, even the insurance companies, if you tell them that you've spoken to the hospital and the hospital is happy to accept them for this specialist, one can easily let them know and you can actually get an approval from your insurance company and they'd be happy for you to come around. The good thing about this hospital is that it accepts all insurers uh, in the country and even international patients. Every single consultant here is an approved uh, provider for the insurer, so there's never an issue of any conflict whatsoever. So if any patient wants to come to me, um, if you're a rugby player, you're a boxer, a sportsman, was dislocated your shoulder or hurt yourself or you're a person who's working in an office and has got a lot of shoulder pain or you're diabetic and got frozen shoulder or anything of that sort or a hand problem or an elbow problem, tennis elbow, carpal tunnel syndromes, all that, uh, just call up the hospital or ask your GP to send them to me and I'd be happy to look after you guys. Mm -hmm.